The school shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. There's been a lot of talk about improving mental health services. From the governor on down, there are a lot of state leaders looking for ways to increase funding. Two News investigated how that money could be used, who will benefit, and if it will make our state safer. In tonight's segment two, we look at helping those slipping through the cracks. He just took us to McDonald's and said, just sit here and I'll get you some food and uh, never came back. We had no electricity, no water, all we had was gas. My mom, she abused me a lot. I, she stabbed me when I was three four, with, a, uh, with a butter knife. Even after I got out of DHS, I was still messing up because, I mean, I didn't really look at life like life anymore. Damien Galt and Timmy Alexander are young men who've survived tough times. They grew up in foster care and say they were the kids society didn't seem to care about. At times they felt unloved, broken, unwanted, and were slipping through the cracks. I've tried to cope with uh, my feelings through drinking, taking pills, and smoking weed, but all that has done is gotten me into trouble. Timmy Alexander spent most of his life in foster care. He says he was moved 144 times, ended up at the Laura Dester shelter. Then on his 18th birthday, the state of Oklahoma classified him as an adult and turned him out on the street. The whole time I was in there, I wasn't really thinking about me aging out um, until that night before when they said, what are you gonna do tomorrow? And I said, I don't know. At the Mental Health Association in Tulsa, they say kids like these are a major concern. And they say if you want to improve mental health services in Oklahoma, start with the kids who are 18 who are no longer eligible for many programs. And these kids are not, these young adults are not getting those services. And we've got to do a better job because they're becoming incarcerated, pregnant, or homeless at extremely high rates. We got to do a better job with that. They were on the roof. They were on the heels of the school. Sandy Hook tragedy, there's a lot of focus on stopping gun violence and improving mental health care to young people. And there are significant resources here in Green Country to help, such as the Calm Center in Tulsa, COPES, which deals with suicide prevention, PreventBullyingTulsa.org, and you can also call 211 to name a few. Governor Mary Fallon believes that the state can do more, and she wants to add 16 million more dollars for mental health services. She says, It'll be a hot topic this legislative session. We're going to be talking about mental health, suicide prevention, prescription drug abuse, and of course just the general health of our citizens in the state. Ask our young adults who've been through the system, and they agree more help is needed. Now these young men say they're on the mend, putting their lives back together. And interestingly enough, one of the fixes they recommend would not cost a dime. I would like to see uh, the state do when the kids turn 18 after aging out of foster care, you know, set them up with a mentor that's positive. That way they can see the better things in life instead of looking down the bad road. Some of that is being done. Now, experts say by helping these young adults, turning them into productive citizens and taking them away from drugs and crime will not only keep them out of jail, it'll also make our state a safer place to live.